meanwhile, over in the NFC, we saw did did we just see uh, a Super Bowl contender? Uh, top seed in a conference, basically say, let's use a rivalry game as a laboratory for the future to see who we've got in Taysom Hill. Did, did we really just see that with Sean Payton over the well, weekend? Well, Rich, I'll tell you, I, I've read a lot about this. I've heard a lot about this. And, and I think, I think it, you know, I talked to Payton last night, and he said, here's exactly what happened. In the off season, we told – Taysom Hill, and we were excited about it. We told Taysom Hill that he was going to get the first shot, basically. Uh, and uh, and so this this past week, when they had to make a decision, it really wasn't a decision for Peyton to make. Now, if Jameis Winston had blown them away, uh, would they have had a decision to make? Maybe. But he didn't, and so they didn't. Um, that's the first part of it. I think the second part of it is, you know, I think there has been much in the media said about the inadequacies of Taysom Hill and, and all that. And I, and I think the biggest reason is because he has been seen in cameos the whole time. You know, he's like Sidra in Seinfeld. You, you know, <laughs> he, 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 you don't, you never see, uh, you know, a Michael Richards. You, you, you don't see him play a season on Seinfeld. You know, you, you just, all you see is the occasional interesting pop-up, um, you know, like against the Vikings in the playoff game last year. But you never see a 60-minute game. And... You know, I think it's fashionable in our business, as I say, to say, because we haven't seen him do it, he can't do it. Why? You know, one thing I told Peyton last night, Rich, is that uh, in the, in the, at the scouting combine in 2018, you know, because you go there every year, you know, the one thing about that that I love is that you run into somebody and say, hey, want to get a coffee or want to get a beer? And I just happened to walk to see Sean Payton out on the sidewalk in Indianapolis. I said, what are you doing? I, we were right near Starbucks. Hey, let's get a coffee. And we went in there <clears throat> and for like 45 minutes before his next appointment, we talked and he told me the, the, the tale of Taysom Hill and how he was this guy who had been a special teams guy for them that year. But he said, I honestly think this guy's got a chance to be our quarterback one day. And I just thought, you know, Peyton is one of these uh, Rube Goldberg types sometimes. Uh, and I thought he, I didn't think he was kidding, but I didn't really know whether he was serious. And every time the subject has come up since, every time he's always said, I'm telling you, I know what I see, and I see an every down NFL quarterback. So, Rich, I think it's it's silly that when the opportunity comes up to play him, to automatically knee jerk go back to a guy who's been a starter for five years, like like Jameis Winston. I'm not saying that if you had to play Jameis Winston, they wouldn't win with him. They probably would, but this is the guy who's been in line for three years, and Sean Payton simply said. I'm not letting anybody cut the line. And now he is a winner, even though uh, I, I didn't notice uh, uh, until I read your 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 column. Hill got the verbiage wrong in the first play he called from from scrimmage. He did. Yeah, night. he was supposed to. And this was the this was the play that he and Peyton both absolutely loved. And he said, "We're going to call it because what Peyton wanted to do at the start of this game, he wanted to give." Uh, the opportunity, he didn't want Taysom Hill to go run the ball five times in his first three series. So in his first 17 snaps, he only ran it one time. And that was by design. Peyton wanted him to play quarterback, and he wanted some, some play calls early that he knew that would be a good fit against the Falcons. And, uh, and so this particular one, he was supposed to have Michael Thomas go into motion. Okay, and he forgot to call the motion in the huddle. 
the excitement of the, of the moment. And so Peyton is looking out and he sees this ball snapped. He goes, well, wait a second. What happened to the motion? Hmm. And then he completes the pass. And obviously later he said, what are you doing? He said, I, and he just simply forgot to call the motion. So, but, you know, I said that it was a sign of good karma. They still gained eight yards on the play. <laughs> and, and uh, look, he only had five incompletions all day and two of them are drops. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.